you're drawing attention to good practice. You find somebody who is already behaving the way you would like everybody to behave, and um, you do a little film about them. I would argue that commissioning a video is not a technical function. I think the technology is, is actually secondary to the, uh, the communication message that you're trying to get across. All that creative talent, all the editorial and creative journalistic editorial way of looking at the world is also available to you for hire. You can make a documentary, you can make a news programme, um, and the skill of that, I would say, is mostly up front. It's in the director, it's in the, uh, the writer. But of course, as I said before, the CEO talking is often an essential thing that you have to do in a culture change programme. We want you to change differently. We, we, want, we want you to think or act or behave differently, and it's for a reason. Now, a lot of people are put off, uh, well, a lot of CEOs don't like performing in front of cameras, but they really do have to learn to do it. Uh, but they don't have to be pompous, they don't have to behave as if they are uh, speaking to a large crowd. Um, and it's popularly believed that talking heads are boring. Well, maybe they're not the most interesting things in the world, but what's, what's wrong with a talking head? You know what I mean by a talking head? That's the, what the media word for just one person talking at their desk. One of the problems about corporate video, because it's developed conventions in just the same as uh, the orators of ancient Greece ended up developing conventions which parted company with humanity, corporate videos are stuffy, or they have been in the past stuffy. You get uh, the CEO thinks that he's addressing a vast rally and uh, makes a very, very pompous and formal speech when what you have to remember about video is that the frame usually is about that big you know, what you're actually being filmed. So it's inappropriate to be on a, a, a little film like that and talk as if you are addressing thousands of people at Wembley Stadium. It just seems ridiculous. You seem mad if you do that. So you have to be natural and human and modest and uh, it's about connecting with people. Uh, the other thing is odd or unusual. It has to be something unusual about it. So just doing a video about life as it normally <coughs> is is deadly dull. Uh, has to be relevant to the lives of the employees for obvious reasons. It has to be topical. It has to go with the flow of what's happening currently. It has to be local to where they are, which can be can mean global. There has to be a there can be a local relevance of a, of a global phenomenon. And finally, it has to be entertaining. All media, all communications have to be entertaining in one way or another even if they involve serious or horrible things, because most of the time this is not a captive audience. These are not people that have to listen to anything you say. You have to engage their interest and their attention all the time, otherwise uh, you, you're wasting your time and money.